All right, I left the vlog camera at home, so I gotta use the phone. What are we doing here? We're cleaning this nasty ass kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hard to get it across on the camera, but aside from like just the way the range, or the, uh, yeah, the range it looks, it's just like I'm, like, a, I'm a messy person in general. Like, I'm a messy person, I'll, but I'm not a dirty person. And there's just this like sticky cooking residue grease gunk on most things. Everything around here, around the stove. <laughs> I mean, even some of the doors over there are kind of bad too, though. Like, well, the ones around the microwave or the ones around the stove area definitely works, but. Like, look at this, look at this gunk right here. Look, watch this. Can't get that. Are you, are you getting that gunk? Not really. It's hard to see. Bad lighting. It's gunky. It's gunky. <laughs> So give us the 30 second rundown on what we're doing with the cabinets. Okay. Aside from obviously cleaning. Kills. <laughs> and then green on the bottom, white on the top. Nice. Just to get us by, get us through. And potentially white on the backsplash. Because I saw this thing where if you paint the, the glass mosaic, it looks like brick, kind of. So, Interesting. Um, and then microwave here. This is... Yep. Gladly. Probably gonna have to raise that middle cabinet up a little bit, but that's gonna be easy. Just screw it in and back a few screws out and raise it up. Okay, sure. We're gonna remodel the kitchen eventually, but not until we save up enough money to do that, so. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about doing it now, because we... We're gonna spend like $100 to make it much not prettier, disgusting. Yeah. or maybe $200 either. Way. Spend a very marginal amount of money to make it not disgusting right now. And then when we save up enough for our first floor renovation, we'll do that. And it's such a lovely fall morning out here. Leaves are changing. Just lovely. Let me have all these nasty drawers. So I'm just going through, I took them all off the cabinets in there and now I'm just going through, taking off all of the, uh, the hardware. We're here. We'll do new, we'll do new poles and new hinges. I mean, they're just, Okay. They're not all they're not all horrible, but some of them are just, they're just nasty. And like some of the doors literally leave like if you can see that it'll focus, like that that junk on my finger, like that's coming off the doors. It's just like a sticky, goopy something. It's just really it's just really, really lovely. So but you know, that's part of the that's honestly part of the fun in all this. Like we said, I don't think we've ever set out. This is, I think I said already, this is the fifth house my wife and I have lived in in nine years. We lived with my brother for about nine months after we got married because we got pregnant 45 days after we got married. So, and we moved out three days before we had Lindsay, our oldest uh, daughter, I think it was. So that was fun. Um... <clears throat> And then we lived in, we had the first house, which we actually then sold to our good friends at church. Um, and then we lived in a rancher. The first house was, just, the house we lived in with my brother and his wife was a rancher. Then we moved into the tri-level right before we had our first daughter. Then we moved into another rancher. Then we moved into another tri-level, which was the exact same house as the first one we lived in, the first one we owned. And so this is now the fourth house that my wife and I have actually, you know, bought either. The first three were all foreclosures that we would pay, like we would basically collect cash from between my parents and our business. And we, we would basically pay cash for foreclosures and fix them up and do a two, two ish year flip on them. Um, the last one we intended, that was the first one that we actually went out and bought ourselves, you know, got a mortgage, you know, like normal people. That last one, we were going to stay, we got to the point where we were making decisions on new siding and roof color, stuff like that. And we just realized we didn't want to stay there. More so me didn't want to stay there. Um, so we decided to sell while the market was good. And here we are on house number five. But all that to say, and like we never, we always set out to look for something that we can have a blank canvas on. Like move-in ready is good. The last two were move-in ready. The first two were, I mean, I'll, I'll drop a couple pictures in here from the first couple. It was remodel, totally remodel the kitchen and at least one bathroom in those first two houses. 
And I mean, we were standing, like you can see here, we were standing in the kitchen replacing floor joists inside of this rancher because there was water damage everywhere that we had to totally gut and rebuild the floor of like all the joists in both bathrooms, the part, most of the laundry room, the kitchen, it was a mess. But I kind of like doing that because then we get to do our own, we get to do new stuff. We didn't want something that was like totally, like any, and when we were going through looking at listings, we weren't looking for, you know, newly updated, newly renovated, fresh paint, blah, 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 blah. Like this one has fresh paint and newer floors, but like the kitchen's a wreck. And that's good because we're paying a little bit less for it. And then in a year or two or however, hopefully not too terribly long, we'll just gut it and do our own thing. My wife, that's what my wife does for our company. She's our selections coordinator. So she picks, she gets to pick all the pretty stuff basically. Like she's not doing the design structural design but she's doing like the aesthetic design if that makes sense so she's kind of she hasn't always gotten to do as much as she wanted on our past houses so i told her you know free reign it's you know you do whatever you want pretty much on this one so but that's that's why we buy houses like this because it's fun to fix them up and you know it's not always it's not always clean you know nasty hands sometimes but it's fun we're gonna make it happen Wait, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. All right, it's a little later in the morning, Sunday morning. Actually, I think it's just afternoon now. So uh, we have made a lot of progress this morning. So all of the appliances that we ordered from Lowe's came this morning. That was why we had to stay home from church because we had to be here for them to show up. So we got a new washer and dryer. We've got our new fridge and this is actually a somebody I, I don't know how it works basically but lowe's delivered it to somebody's house and it ended up being the wrong size so we got it for 50 percent off and we got a microwave that i'll be putting there i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to move this cabinet in here up a little bit but that won't be hard because it's just screwed to the wall and then screwed through the side of the face room right there so yeah it'll just take a few minutes to do that but the stove the range was darn near destroyed it looked like somebody took a sledgehammer to it before they put it in the box so no range yet but we do have our new air fryer down here we got microwaves we'll be all right for a few days till we get the new new range in place and then i also had finished pulling all of the doors and drawers out of the cabinets and you can see one of the reasons why we plan on painting them they're just uh they're just kind of nasty also been working on cleaning up the fan family room a lot. We've got our bookshelves in here. These from our, these came from my parents. They are kind enough to give them to us. And I was really, really excited to get all of my books unpacked. I've had most of these packed up for a long time, but I've got them all unpacked and fairly well organized. I've always been really big into just history in general, um, specifically World War II. I did World War II reenacting for a while. Uh, I've gotten out of that hobby, but I still enjoy reading about it and then just military history in general. Uh, so here's the rundown of my uh, my library. So this whole side is all World War II. Top shelf is all Pacific Theater, and they're mostly in chronological order. Not totally, but pretty close. And then this shelf is all European Theater. And then Courtney's got some other stuff down there. And then up here, top shelf is all modern conflict, you know, Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, all of the, the modern wars, the last 20 plus years of warfare. Um, some of Courtney's stuff here, and then just generic World War II history stuff. Um, and then a little bit more Courtney stuff. And then this is just random, um, kind of overall military history stuff, some, you know, development stuff, you know, just personal development type books. Um, and then this shelf is all of my just big, <coughs> big encyclopedia type books. And that's not even all of them. There's a few more laying around on the floor <laughs> that are holding the corners of this rug down that we just unrolled for the first time last night. So that's my big my big book shelf. And then all the way down on the bottom is the right half is all Vietnam. 
And then the left half is some of my favorite fiction authors. Um, I, I have read or listened to a whole lot more David Baldacci books than I have. That's the, actually the only one that I own. And then Jack Carr is my new, my new favorite. Uh, highly recommend both of those authors, anybody who likes action fiction type stuff. David Baldacci specifically, he, uh, he actually lives on the lake that my grandparents live at. I've fished in front of his house before. And he has just really, really good series. I've listened to, I don't know, probably at least 20 of his books so far. Uh, and then Terminal List, Jack Carr, Terminal List. You've probably heard of the, the series on Amazon Prime. Those are the, those are the books that uh, the series is based on. Or the book, Terminal List. And then he's written more. And I think, I hope they're going to make more, more, more series as well. We'll see. But yeah, just trucking along. Courtney is at at the store right now getting some groceries so i'm gonna just continue organizing this is our spare bedroom back here and these are a couple these are a couple like glass front you know curio cabinet dealies that we're gonna eventually move upstairs but for right now we are going to just put them on this wall right here to give us cabinet space because until these are cleaned and painted we have nowhere to put dishes and food and stuff like that. So we're gonna use those curio cabinets as our cabinetry and pantry for now. Just gotta improvise, adapt, and overcome. And worth what you got. It's just freaking gorgeous weather. You can probably hear the whole time the girls are upstairs just having a blast. It's just a great day. All right, back on the vlog camera. What's going on, babe? Um, I'm painting the cabinets with kills. Nice. You're gonna and kill all that grime. I went to Home Depot and got rollers and kills and forgot to get a paintbrush because I forgot about it. So I'm using one of my art brushes because it has to get done. It has to be done. So that's what we're doing. Nice. I think, you know, I'm trusting the bigger picture. It's going to be better than what it is. Like, it's, how can yeah. it not be better than It than can it? only go up from here. Exactly. And today, we just going to stay in our house. We did. This is the first morning we woke up in our new house. Pretty exciting. I'm okay. I'm oh, you okay. opted to go ahead and cover up the backsplash too, huh? <laughs> yes, it's disgusting. Okay. I mean, it's like full of, like, I can't. Hey, it's just whitewash now. I'm going to paint over it like with white paint and it's going to be like not want to Bless it, you. But, um, <laughs> you know my new glasses. It's disgusting. I'm just... Yeah. I love that color. <laughs> it's not that bad, I think, but what? I kind of think it would, it would look decent with the green and the I white. so too. It's just the fact that I can't get Oh, it's just disgusting. Though. Okay. It's, like, There's just that much gunk on it that the, it's... the tile necessarily that's disgusting, uh, so I would never choose it, but it's like physically disgusting. I understand. I cleaned there it. Is. It's disinfected, but yeah. it's still like... I don't it's pretty know, bad. I don't know what happened in yeah, this kitchen. It's not bad at all. So maybe just, I don't know, smeared grease all over everything. Maybe there's a grease fire. <laughs> nah. Nah, hey, shush. But uh, we're still getting settled in. We got our bedroom set up last night. Got the bed, a couple nightstands. There's no window treatments anywhere at all in the whole house, so we just hung up a couple blankets last night on the windows. There's also no doors on any of the bedroom closets, so I'll add those at some point. We got the curio cabinets in here all set up, and we actually just received. Baker's we, we did. We get Courtney got a baker's rack thing. I don't even. I'll assemble it probably this evening, and then I'll show you. But basically, making do with the limited space we have, especially since we can't even use any of this right now for, I don't know, at least a week probably. Basically, however long it takes you to get all this and then let it dry. A week. Yeah. At least a week. I have to empty my truck though because it is Sunday night. Tomorrow's Monday morning. I've got a project to start on a bathroom remodel. Get back in the groove of life. Um, that's been like it's been a long weekend that it kind of seems to have gone by quickly, but it helps to get back in the groove. Um, like it also be nice to like have another day to just keep working on stuff around the house. But we'll have plenty of time for all that and getting back in the swing. Kind of like coming back from vacation. Get back in the swing of things and. 
you just move on with life and start to kind of settle in so all right end of the day how are we feeling um okay i guess tired yeah settled in ish no i'm tired this house needs a lot of work for it does do you regret buying it no I think, like, once I get my kitchen all done, my kitchen is in disarray. A little bit. But, like, it it had to be to get better. Like, and it just was so gross before. What else? Oh, yeah, we don't have internet. That's Not yet. It's crazy. Yeah, we watched, uh, we watched The Emperor's New Groove tonight. We used my phone as a hotspot to allow us to stream off of her laptop and connect to the TV. Yeah, we connected the laptop. Ingenuity. To, with the HDMI. I think if I could get my computer set up and I had Wi-Fi, <laughs> then like, and I could do my routine, I could work, you know? But like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go to your mom's to use Wi-Fi to work tomorrow. Yeah. Unless I can use my phone as a hotspot and do work on the laptop that way. Mm -hmm. I guess I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably get internet set up tomorrow. Sort of. Well, they probably won't actually get it to us for. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It should be soon, I don't think. Know how it works. We didn't call in for it because we I didn't know for sure where our router and modem were. I knew they were in the storage unit and we found them sometime near the end of the day yesterday and then I just forgot to call. Where are they? On the porch. But sunny night, we're tired. We're ready to go to bed soon and I think it's good. I'm like not I'm very grateful we have a home. I'm just a homesick a little bit, but like I don't know what for because we haven't been in our home in six months, so it's just been it's just been a weird time in my life. Honestly, it's so strange. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired. Can I? Yep. We're both tired. Good enough place to end it. I'm gonna try to keep this, like, normal and not, like, segment it out and, like, overthink it. You know, like, we just started the cabinet project today. I'm not gonna try to, like, do, like, one specific video just on the cabinet. We'll just film on a daily or whatever basis whenever there's something to film and it'll just go how it goes. So we'll go ahead and end it here and we're gonna go get some sleep soon and thanks you guys for watching. Uh, Instagram link is down in the description below if anybody wants to check that out and we'll see you guys on the next one.